is uh, Dr. Andy Gordon. I'm a professor of forest ecology and agroforestry at the University of Guelph. I have been there for many, many years, since 1984. Uh, my research interests are half in agroforestry, half in forest ecology. So in Canada, our agroforestry systems are six. Uh, our most famous one is forest farming. And so I give you the example of uh, maple syrup production from the sugar bushes of Quebec. But there are other examples of forest farming like ginseng and shiitake mushrooms. Uh, we also have windbreak systems, uh, intercropping systems in, in southern Ontario, civil pastoral systems that we are trying in different parts of the world. Inter uh, integrated riparian management systems, and more recently, bioenergy systems. These are all different aspects of agroforestry that we are investigating. Uh, in terms of the traditional ones, um, there are some agroforestry systems that have been practiced by indigenous peoples for thousands of years. So for example, they would grow pumpkins in between apple trees until the apple trees got big enough to produce apples. So uh, forest farming is our most traditional aspect of, of agroforestry. Maple syrup production, shiitake mushrooms, gin, ginseng. Uh, there's a multitude of non-forest timber products that can be taken from the woodlots that do not impact on, on the woodlot and that do not impact on the, on the quality of the woodlot. Yes, uh, more recently we have uh, developed uh, in concert with some very important partners um, willow and poplar bioenergy systems where we grow the poplar and the willow on very short rotations for about three years, harvest them, turn them into pellets and then use them in, in pellet stoves. And we think we have a winning formula in terms of biofuel uh, production, a tree species that will improve the land but will also produce an energy product. The legislation right now is, is nothing. In Ontario we have just announced a cap and trade system so all sectors of the Ontario economy will be forced to look at how much carbon they produce, how much carbon they sequester. The farming community um, I would say is in trouble. It needs to look at different innovative practices like agroforestry to help it sequester carbon to offset its use of fossil fuels to drive tractors and things like that. You cannot be carbon neutral if you are a farmer with a big diesel tractor driving down the field spewing out diesel. You can be carbon neutral if you have a tree in your system. If your tree is in a windbreak, if your tree is in an intercrop, if your tree is in a riparian system, that tree is sequestering carbon. More importantly, the tree is putting carbon into the soil. And that will help to offset those CO2 emissions that the farmer is using.